how not to grow your YouTube channel. If that sounds like something you would like to know, stick around. Hey, if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and that little bell icon so you'll be notified when new videos are released. You don't want to miss anything. You know, I've been watching some YouTube videos on how to grow your channel. And I ran across something this morning that made me realize there is uh, some things out there on how not to grow your YouTube channel. And I want to share that with you here in a moment. But first, I want to talk to you on a couple of different things that I've learned that you may already, may already know. One of the first things that I know that will turn people off and it won't help you grow your channel is your titles. Your titles and your thumbnails. If you've got a boring title about, uh, I don't know, whatever. If it's boring, if it doesn't stand out from the rest, it's not going to attract people. You know, you look at titles. And if they're not uh, anything that interests you, odds are you're not going to click on it unless they got a really killer looking thumbnail. Then I might. But most people, they don't care if you went on a fishing trip at a certain lake or whatever, unless they're interested in that lake or unless they like you and you have a big following and a lot of people want to keep up with what you're doing. In that case, then they probably will watch it. But if you're new, or if you don't have that many subscribers or followers or whatever, they're, they're there for information. They're not there to see how you put your shoes on on Sunday morning. However, they might be interested in what kind of shoes you put on. That's the difference. So have something that strikes their interest in your title. And use the keyword research. Find keywords and form your title with that, with what you've said in your video about your content, what you write about it. And a good little tool to use is TubeBuddy. You know, it comes up with keywords and helps you design your titles and everything. I'll put a link to TubeBuddy down there in the description. So if you want to check it out, look down there in the description, there'll be a link to it. And I highly suggest doing it if you haven't used it or if you don't already have it try it out it does have a free trial and it does quite a bit on the free version because I use free version for quite a while but the more keywords that you're trying to find when you're really getting into keyword research you're only allowed to use it so much and then it will like kind of like time you out you know you have to wait till the next day or whatever but the full version and yeah, it's unlimited on that so check it out like I said, there'll be a link to TubeBuddy down in the description. All right, the second thing is your thumbnails. You need to have something that stands out from the rest. A boring, bland thumbnail is a turnoff, and you're not going to grow your YouTube channel with a boring-looking thumbnail. I use GIMP. I'll go ahead and put a link to that down there in the description as well if y'all want to check out that. It's a free program for editing photos and things such as that and creating photos so y'all check that out and then it comes to your content don't create stuff that nobody cares anything about just because you like something doesn't mean somebody else is going to like it there's a good chance there will be people out there that do share your same interest but them finding you is slim to nil so create videos that people are interested in hot topics and things like that people may be interested in fishing a certain lake well that's fine but you may be interested in lures but tie in your lures tie in no pun intended but but you can relate your lures to that lake you know you see the correlation you can join those two and you can still talk about what you want to talk about, but cover the topics that people are looking for. I hope that makes sense. Probably as clear as mud. Now, about what I was talking about that I really don't think is ethical, but I don't know. Y'all be the judge. Check this out. So all you need to do is find these people that are in your niche, 
You need to go to their YouTube channels and you need to subscribe to them and turn on the bell notifications. Yeah, I agree with that part. And I'll just show you how it works. So I produced this video on the 26th of April. I turned on the bell notifications for Gary Vaynerchuk, Gary V, um, subscribe to him. So then when he dropped this video on the 26th of April, before I'd even produced my first video, before I'd even uploaded my first video, all I did is I came to his channel and I wrote a comment. And as you can see, it's got 144 um, likes and it's got 66 replies and Gary Vee's even liked it himself. So as you can see, the key is to go and find these YouTubers um, and you need to comment something on their channel the second they drop their videos. Because the key is to get your comment to the top of their video. You need to like it yourself. And you need to get engagement up so it goes up to the top of their comment section. So, what I do... Sounds good, right? Well, now listen to this. Is create um, some fake Google accounts. Some fake YouTube accounts with different email addresses. Fake Google accounts. Some fake YouTube accounts with different email addresses. Fake, 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 fake Google accounts. Some fake YouTube accounts with different email addresses. And then as soon as you've posted your comment here, log out straight away, really quickly, log into this fake account, come to that video and like your comment and leave a reply. Um, let me know in the comment section below how it works. Um, if you comment below, I'll subscribe to you as well. So what do y'all think, ethical or unethical? Let me know. Leave a comment down below. Share what you feel about it or how you feel about it. If y'all keep on keeping on, we'll see y'all down the road. Bye.